And today we're just having a little more fun with that MP5A2 and a few other little friends with us. Uh, we're doing a little sniping as well with that oh, M99. And I believe there's a little uh, honey badger in here as well. Not as big of a fan. It's all right. You're gonna, yeah, maybe get used to it. Uh, also, a real big fan of that Mark 17 might, uh, might be doing something on that. Well, let me know if that's anything that might be of interest to you. Um, I cannot stress enough something that might be obvious, but is worth noting, especially if you're new to this game. Uh, spend some time in the shooting range uh, working with your settings. The settings in this game, I think, by default are a little bit stiff. Now, maybe I'm alone in that. I don't think that I am. But even if I am alone in that, in that uh, feeling, I think it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get your settings right in any game you play that you're going to spend any kind of time on. Um, you're going to have a lot more fun doing it when it feels like you can move in a way that, that makes sense. And that's what you'll have if you spend just a little bit of time on it. I did a, a video about some settings for this game that felt, at the time felt very good, I mean, in comparison to where it had started, but since then I've made some changes on too. Um, I've since moved to an exponential sensitivity curve. Not sure why I'm doing a Chicago accent all of a sudden, but, uh, you know, sensitivity curves, they're good things, you know, make sure that they're down there. So, as opposed to the, uh, the dynamic, I went with the exponential, man, way, way times better, way times, let me tell you. So... You know, spend some time with your settings is all I'm saying to you. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this uh, video here. And uh, we'll see you around the bender, all right? Uh, cheers.